Evening, everyone. It's a few minutes after six, and this is your closing comment. It's video number 463. And please hit that like and that subscribe button. It costs you nothing, but it does help us. Okay, so today's market was kind of interesting. Um, if you didn't own one of the big seven or eight companies stock, it wasn't so great. Uh, if you owned Amazon or Apple or Microsoft, on the other hand, it was phenomenal. The Dow was up 250.62 or 0.88%, while the NASDAQ was up more than that, 296.32. And seeing as uh, it's less than half the size, the gain was three times as big, 2.56%. Uh, the uh, S&P was up 57 and change, 1.64%. Uh, the Russell was uh, up 11 and a half or 0.7 and the Dow Jones Transports was up a meager $18.49, 0.16%. The issue was that both the NYSE and the NASDAQ were barely 3 to 2 to the upside and volume was lower, much lower, as a matter of fact. Um, the Dow stocks, of the Dow stocks, 23 were up and 7 were down. And uh, if you were ever concerned about the fact that Apple's split made it less powerful in the Dow, it was the number one leader, adding 49 of those 250 points all by itself. Microsoft, 37 caterpillar 25 so right there you have three stocks it was half of the gain uh, the biggest loser was nike and that only took ten dollars off uh, amazon closed fifty dollars off its high and was still up massively a hundred and twenty points i believe uh, zoom this is kind of the interesting part of the day. Zoom, which was 510 in the pre-market when it opened, could only manage 506. Not that that's bad, uh, but it finished the day uh, at 493.30. So it finished $13 off the high and up only 86 cents. Twitter, on the other hand, uh, was a nice gainer was up early this morning closed 48.42 up 245 or 5.34 percent uh twilio was kind of the same situation as uh zoom but not nearly as bad the stock closed 329.72 up 23.48 or 7.6 percent on their 3.2 million uh, 3.2 billion dollar deal to buy segment. Uh, PepsiCo, uh, 142.13, up 3.69 on a rise from uh, market perform to buy. So that was up 2.7%. Um, and the little one that I mentioned this morning, ATXI, Avenue Therapeutics, uh, that one was trading at around 5.24 down $5.36, and all it did was get worse. Uh, it closed on the low of the day at 4.53, down 6.51, or 60%. Uh, in the futures, the chart on the screen is the oil, and as you can see, it closed down, not quite on the low, but darn close. Uh, gold was kind of interesting. We're short the silver in SLV, and those options are down so far that it doesn't make a lot of sense to be a seller of them. But uh, here's what happened in the gold. It was up this morning. It was actually higher last night. And after trading as high as uh 1939, so 1940, it closed at 1928.9, uh, which was uh, basically up uh, about $2.70. And tonight, it's already trading down a little. Um, 
this is a tough area. Uh, the one reason, well, there were two reasons why we kept the silver. First of all, uh, the gap to the downside and the pummeling that it got on Friday uh, made me want to hold it. And, you know, basically, at it's a position of, I believe, six in the options account. And for $60, I really was not in much of a rush to be out of it. Uh, so it had the same kind of day as the gold. It finished up 16 cents, but well off the high, about mid-range. <clears throat> and tonight it's already a little lower, but not much. Um, the, re the other reason for keeping it is because the uh, rest of the uh, metals markets have been weak. And in fact, uh, the platinum, actually closed on the low after having an inside day and looks like it's going to break to the downside. So uh, we have very little to lose and a fair amount to gain. Okay, back to energy. Uh, in yesterday's letter, last night's letter, um, I explained that I thought that the 292 area was particularly difficult and of course we rallied hard this morning and got up as high as 295. Let me open this up a little so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so it traded 295 this morning which was you know right a little higher than uh, the closes here, here, and here. And then it closed up on the day, uh, but frankly, very weak and on the low. So I'm expecting to see uh, this come in a bit. Um, I'd like to buy it, but I'm certainly not buying it up here. Uh, 260 would be the area that I would look and, you know, if it doesn't get there, it doesn't get there. Uh, we'll have to reevaluate. Um, and my favorite trade of the day, and I said it last night, and the uh, headline on that chart with comment in last night's letter was, I love this chart. We basically came down, we bounced off this 100-day moving average one, two, almost three times, and we burst to the upside this morning. Uh, actually last night, and uh, we were up 520 on the day. It's already open, and it's up another 155 right here. It doesn't really look like much because it has as much of a range, but I can't imagine that it doesn't get up into this 12.2 to 12.5 area. And of course, we own the GBTC, which is the great grayscale Bitcoin trust. Um, we have 500 shares, which is two thirds of our normal position. I sold a third of it at 13.93. It closed today 12.67, up 90 cents. So uh, I kind of like that position. If we can't buy a little more, I won't. Uh, but the balance, the 500 only cost us uh, $8.97, so it's a fairly substantial gain. Uh, one more gainer that we have, um, I don't know if anybody remembers, but we bought in the big account, the stock account, uh, we bought 400 shares of IPOB units. That's uh, Chamath Paleopatia's SPAC, and today... I don't recall the exact closing price, but I saw it trade at 26, and I have a feeling that's around where it closed. So that's a great profit. I think our average cost there is 11.09, and we also added to another one of those SPACs, IPOC, uh, also today at uh, 10 and three quarters, 10.75, and I believe our price there is. 1109. All right, everyone, I'll be back first thing in the morning. Hope you had a good day. Certainly, if you were in those big cap, mega cap stocks, you did. Have a good one. And don't forget to subscribe.